Sam, it's amazing how all crime fits into a pattern. Yeah, it certainly is. Vaughn is downstairs in jail and Chopper is dead. And those two and maybe many more people are connected with a man named the Mole. Yeah, we've checked all our records on the Mole and all he's ever been wanted for is suspicion. Don't worry, if he commits a crime, he'll pay for it. Yeah, it's amazing how this shyster lawyer, J. Blackstone Springham, works for the Mole, too. Oh, that doesn't mean very much. He'll work for anybody that'll pay him. Come in. Well, hello there, Mr. Tracy and Sam. Hi, Murphy. I uh, just dropped in to see if you were badly bruised after that horrible beating Pawn gave you when you were all tied up. Well, thanks, Murphy, but everything seems to be all right. Good. Hey, is Pawn giving you any trouble down there? No, no trouble at all. Just yelling for his lawyer. What lawyer does he want? J. Jay Blackstone Springham. Precisely as I expected. Uh, by the way, Mr. Tracy, speaking about uh, Springham, you know, he was down in my office not very long ago with the writ of habeas corpus. Who did he want this time? He was after a vagrant named Z.V. Wheels. A vagrant? That's right, a vagrant. And when he got wheels out, he gave him some money so that he couldn't be charged with vagrancy anymore. And you know, Mr. Tracy, the most peculiar thing of all? No, what? Why this fellow wheels didn't even know Springham. Hello, Gillis. This is Tracy. I want you to dig up every available scrap of information on a man named Z.V. Wheels. That's right, wheels. Did you get his fingerprints before he got out? Sure, he was printed on the way in. Yes, his fingerprints are on file. This is your private room. The printing press, papers, inks. This is where you'll turn out the counterfeit money. But be careful. What's the matter? You act like you don't trust me. Well, would you trust a man with a million dollars who just done a stretch for vagrancy? and has a ridiculous habit of betting on the horses? Well, that's a very accurate and precise description. Is everything all right, boss? Ask Quill. He's going to do the work. This probably needs a few adjustments, but, Martin, you did an amazingly good job. Uh, where are the inks? Oh, they're in the package upstairs. I couldn't carry all the stuff at once. Go and get them. You know, Moe, I hope you've got these plates. I haven't seen them. How can I be certain that they're the Durville originals? I've got them right here. And I want you to examine them. Ah. They're authentic, all right. What an artist that man was. How did you ever get these things? That's a very interesting story. I'll tell it to you sometime. I never held a million dollars in my hands before. You never said a truer word in your life. Uh, you know, there's something about this place I don't understand. So I notice you've got no doors or windows. How does one get out? The same way one got in. Yeah, I know. I came through one of your tunnels. But you seem to have a dozen of those things branching in all different directions. How do you find your way around, especially when there's no light? I don't have lights in any of my tunnels. And it'll take you a long, long time before you find your way out. Sort of like being in jail. Oh, I wouldn't say that. You can go home in the evenings, and when you have to stay here, Mountain will bring your meal from my restaurant, the hole in the wall. Mo, oh, we haven't discussed the deal. I make the deals. I'm going to give you 10% on every piece of paper you turn out. A hundred grand. A hundred thousand dollars for a few weeks' work. Not bad, is it? But you get nine hundred thousand because you got the plates. That's right. Here's the ink. I'm not needed here any longer, so I'm going upstairs. Mountain, I want you to take very good care of our guest, Mr. Wheels. And don't let those plates out of your sight. I won't. Mountain, you seem to know your way around to those tunnels pretty well, don't you? Yeah. Took me two years to find my way around down here. Why? You trying to sneak out? Oh, not yet. That is, uh, no. I think I'll stick around for a little while and watch you work. Well, then I'll get busy.
What do you mean? Well, we're going to take a long trip, aren't we? Yeah. Well, what are these? These are travel folders. Tell you all the wonderful places in the world to go to. Visit the myriad beauties of marvelous Mexico. Here's one. Don't miss the secret voodoo rites of Haiti. Here's a funny one. The wilds of Canada are calling you. Well, we're not ready to go yet. But don't worry. We'll take a long trip and a nice one. You won't forget me, will you? I'll never forget you, Fluff. To make sure, maybe you better take me along, huh? You bet I will. Hey, where's Wheels? Oh, he's now with his printing press underground, turning out money just for you and me. You know, I never thought that I'd have my own private mint. <laughs> That's a good one, your own private mint. <laughs> Mo, that guy's amazing. He puts little pieces of paper into a press, and out comes money just like nothing. Why, a proposition like that can't lose. Jesus, that's amazing. It's terrific. Yeah, but it's true. Well, someone just came in the restroom. Go and get rid of them. Right. You know, that fluff is a mighty nice kid. She'll go down there and see if they're in the way. She just gives us a buzzer, and we're prepared. Say, Mo, what's all these folders here? Oh, that's an idea of Fluff. She thinks we're going on a long trip. You gonna take her with you? Well, I haven't made up my mind yet. Well, listen, don't you think three of us would be too many? Three of us? Huh. Are you stupid? Well, what do you want, Shyster? Murphy, I'll thank you to remember my name is Jay Blackstone Springham. I'm a practicing lawyer before the bar of this state. Well, uh, don't worry, Sir Springham, my boy. You'd soon be disbarred. <laughs> They'll have to catch me. <laughs> What I mean is, you always speak of the worst. And now look, Murphy, I'd like to visit with my client, Pawn. Well, 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 what now? You mean you're not here to spring another prisoner's freedom? Murphy, I think I resent your tone. Well, if you do, then I feel just fine. Come along now, come along with me. Pawn! There's your client. It's about time you showed up, shyster. I suppose if you call me shyster, it isn't so bad. After all, you pay me for the privilege, which is more than uh, this gentleman does. I, uh, I gathered you want to talk to him. Of course, of course. Open up the cell. With the greatest of pleasure. I'll uh, call you when I'm through. My, oh, my. <laughs> a perfect combination. Birds of a feather. Ah, spring him, my boy. I'm looking forward to the day when I can put you in the cell all by yourself. <laughs> Lovely chap, that, Murphy. Oh, crossword puzzle. Let's see where he was. 34 cross. Large ape. Seven letters. Monkey. No. Chimpanzee. Now, large ape, seven letters. Hey, what are you doing me crossword puzzle, you gorilla? Gorilla! Thanks, Murphy. That's it. Gorilla, seven letters. Hey, come on now, come on, leave it be. Get one of your own. All right, all right, it's all yours. What are you doing here, anyhow? Looking for a place to sleep overnight? <laughs> I know you'd let me sleep here overnight, but I'm not so sure you'd let me out of here in the morning. <laughs> Oh, but boy, you're quite a mind reader. Well, where's Mr. Tracy? Oh, he's busy on a case. Yeah? What, uh, what's the case about? I don't know. Something to do with this guy, Porn, that's here in jail. Oh? I thought I'd come down here and ask him a few questions. Come on, take me down to see him. No, no, you'll have to stand in line. What do you mean? He's being visited by that shyster lawyer, Mr. J. Blackstone Springham. But if you want, you can talk to him next door. Looks like I'll just have to wait a while. I see you now. Gorilla. <laughs> I had uh, Pekingese down there. And you were close. You sure you're telling me the truth? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Forget all that. 
Forget all that and tell them just what I told you to say. I guess that's all for today. Oh, guard! 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 There's that Springham car. And well, guess I'll go get him now. Took you long enough. Bring me, boy. I was just wanting you to get used to your jail cell. Because you'll be having one of your own some of these days. Cheerful kid, isn't he? Well, goodbye, Fawn. And don't forget what I told you. So long, Scheifer. That horrible word. Well, well. Sam Ketchum, how do you do? And how is your partner in crime, Mr. Dick Tracy? If you mean my partner against crime, he's quite well, thank you. I suppose you've been giving your client instructions? <laughs> very, very funny. <laughs> very funny indeed. How are we doing? There's the beginning. Oh, boy, does that look good. No, 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 I wouldn't touch him yet. They're not quite dry. I could have turned out more, but I had a little difficulty getting the press to operate right. Oh. Well, where's the plates? Mold said I should get them. Right here, I wrapped them up for you. Oh, you wrapped them up, huh? So you wouldn't get any on your hands. Yeah, any ink on your hands or on your clothes. That's nice of you. Well, come on, follow me. I guess we just have to wait. I have a date with a very charming young lady tonight, uh, Mountain. Why don't you just show me out and I'll come back in the morning? You wouldn't want me to keep a nice, charming young lady waiting, would you? No, I wouldn't want to keep a dame waiting myself. I'll just leave the place here and show you out through the North Tunnel. Come on. Thank you. It's fine. Williams still working down there? No, I took him out on the street. Said he had a date tonight and didn't want to be late. But there's the plate. Wait a minute. You ought to die for this mountain. Well, what's the matter, Moe? He switched plates on you. He's got the real plates, and all I've got is a couple of pieces of metal. Oh, gosh, no, Mole. What can I do? What can you do? You can go and get those plates or cut your throat before I do. Well, I'll get it. Wait a minute. It's lucky that I remember that address where Wheels is rooming. Now, here. You take that, and you bring those plates back. I'll bring them both back. Here are the files you asked for, Mr. Tracy. Oh, thanks, Gillis. Hello, Eden. Tracy. Gillis just gave me all the papers on Mold and Mountain. Well, there's not much here, but you have the full description of them both. Yes, right. Yes, that's it. Now, see that every patrol and motorcycle policeman gets a complete description. These men must be picked up immediately. Right on site. Okay. Goodbye. Who are you? What do you want?
Here. Here. Take them. Take these. What's the matter, Wheels? <laughs> Why, the shakes. Joker. What are you doing? What's the trouble, anyway? What do you got there? Nothing. Seems to me you get pretty excited about nothing. You in trouble or something? Maybe I can help you. You know, two heads are better than one. Now, come on, what's your trouble? We've been friends for years. Uh, maybe I better tell you. I've got the Spike Durville engravings. Spike Durville? Yeah. Why, he was the greatest, the greatest engraver that ever lived. Or died. Yeah. Speaking of engravings, you're pretty close to Durville yourself. Well, uh, some people will say that. Hey, can I see the plates? I really admire a work of art. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's Spike Durbel. Now, there was really a master craftsman. This must have taken him at least six months. What are you gonna do with these? I'm gonna print up a batch of money for myself, get out of the country, and then retire. Well, where are you gonna print this stuff? You got a press, any ink, any paper? Oh, but I'll get it. Now, now, now look, uh, Wheels, you don't wanna work this operation alone. The, the, the plates are hot. Obviously, you just typed them yourself. You're packing to get out of here, so obviously there's a lot of people on your trail, the cops and the mobs. Yeah, you're right. Now, don't worry about the split. We'll get together on terms. I've got the perfect hideout. I'll just clean it up a bit and see that everything's clear. You just finish packing, and I'll pick you up in about 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, you're right. I need all the help I can get. You'll get it. What are you Wait. doing? wheels did. Oh, what wheels do? He pulled a switch on Mountain and stole the Durval plates. I thought Mountain was going to keep an eye on him. Yeah, but he let him go. Wheels told him he had a date and had to leave early. That dumb clunkhead. There goes our million bucks. Oh, but don't you worry. I know where Wheels lived and I sent Mountain over to bring him back. And I'm pretty sure he'll bring Wheels and the plates. I better put this stuff away. What's that, Mo? That's some of the finest money that's ever been made outside of the United States Mint. Boy, that's the nicest thing I ever touched in my whole life. Don't you worry, baby. When we get those plates back, there's going to be an awful lot more where this came from. Mo, you say the nicest thing. <laughs> you chiseler. Trying to scare a fellow for her. Ah, you shouldn't be so jumpy. You know, I almost didn't get upstairs this time. Why? There's a real big guy downstairs looking at the names on all the mailboxes, but I sneak past him. That's the mountain. He's after me. Ha ha! The mountain comes to Muhammad. <laughs> Put the Joe, car in, will you? He's after me because I got these plates. Well, it's different. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Oh, see you later, chump. something belong to them all, and I came to get it back. I don't know what you mean. Those plates. You pulled a switch on me, you dirty rat. Now, where's a good one? Quick, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I have no time to talk. If I don't bring those plates and you back to the mall, I ain't gonna live long. And if you don't stop playing around like this, you won't either. them.
who are you? Now, look here. I'm a very sharp. Well, men, every report we have from each department all lead to the same place. Mountain has been seen in the same neighborhood, in a back lot behind the hole in the wall restaurant. Well, every division has agreed on that. Evidently, there's been a crime ring operating in that section of the city. Now, that means we'll have to have more men in that area until the situation is cleared up. Meanwhile, Sam and I have a few things to follow through on ourselves. All right, Tracy just gave you your instructions. Now, we'll stop this plan on an area saturation basis. Right. Well, Tracy, looks like we have our objectives pinpointed. Yes, Sam. This is a constant war against crime, and we've got to plan our moves carefully. Just wanted to make sure I had enough bullets. Don't worry. When you start shooting, you don't waste any. We've got you dead to rights. Not yet. you go along now and stop bothering me. I just dropped in to see if I could pick up a little business. Well, by God, I've heard about shysters and ambulance chasers, but this certainly hits a new low. When a lawyer will walk right into the jail to try to drum up a little trade. No offense, Murphy, no offense at all. But uh, any time you can dig me up a little business, it'll be greatly appreciated. On a cash basis, of course. Look now, People have insulted me before and have called me names, but never once has anyone ever hinted that I'd take a bribe. Now look you, if you don't get out of here and quick, I'm going to report you to the Bar Association. As a matter of fact, I'm going to report you to the Bar Association anyway on general principles. Take it easy, Murphy. I was only joking. <laughs> well, look at the parade. What have we here? Looks like we might have a little business. Spring, I want you to get me out of here and fast. Anything for a friend. I can't pay you today. I'll have you left to wait for a day or two. I... Pardon me, stranger. And now, what can I do for you, sir? I am Jay Blackstone Springham, the eminent criminal lawyer. Okay, Murphy, let's book these men and get it over now, with. Now, just a moment. Every man has a right to speak to his lawyer. That's one of his legal rights. Well, before you waste your time, I want to tell you that Mountain was shot resisting arrest. Held on suspicion of kidnapping wheels here, and among other things, he held me prisoner against my will. All right, Shyster. You still want to take the case? Uh, I'm sorry, gentlemen. It seems I have an important engagement elsewhere. Uh, very nice having met you all. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Well, I suppose you want these fellas find their way in the usual place. Oh, yes. All right. Come on, you get along here. Come on, get along. <laughs> Well, I said it before, and I'll say it again. You never waste a bullet. So when you shot Mountain, you put a hole clean through his leg. Yes, sir, I'd say you were the best marksman on the force. Tell me, Sam, how did it feel when Mountain threw wheels at you? Yeah, that Mountain was a pretty big fella. But between you and me, when Dick Tracy's around, I'm afraid of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> 